Hey guys, Photoshop Pro help here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this amazing old photo effect. So this effect can work well on a range of images, so you can really experiment with this. And it also has that grunge feeling thrown in. So I'm going to go and show you a few photos that this can work on. So I'm going to jump over to this one right here. And we have this old mining photo. So I'm going to go and take the effect off. And this is the original image that we started off with and we reapply it back on and we get this old rustic style effect. So this works really nice with these sort of images so we can go back and go to our original. So this is the original that we started off with and the very first thing we need to do is we need to go and download a texture and the texture we're going to be downloading is this one right here so the link is going to be in the description bar for you to go check out so go download that guys and once you have put your original image into Photoshop we're just going to apply this texture over it so drag and drop onto it and it should fit automatically if it doesn't we can go and free transform that by clicking Control and T or Command and T if you have a Mac and then just free transform it to fit and then click the tick icon at the top once you've done that we can go and right click this layer and go to rasterize layer and from here we're going to go and desaturate the image so control shift and U or command shift and U if you have a Mac that desaturates it and then we're going to go and bring up the level so we're going to go and press control and L or command and L if you have a Mac and we're going to go and put a few values in this so for the first value is going to be set to 0 and the middle one is going to be set to 0 0.38 and for the very last one is going to be set to 232 and as we can see the contrast has really gone up and we have that grunge feeling coming through click OK I'm going to go and put the blending mode to this to overlay and we can see it coming through again and this is quite nice and we're going to go and add a few adjustment layers so bottom right hand side this is a little circle click that and we'll go to gradient map and click the gradient and we're going to go and add a few colors so for the first color we're going to go and change that and the code for this one is going to be set to 311F00 and you can pause the video and check out the code and then click OK and then for the last color is going to be set to pure white click OK click OK again and we can go and hide that and then we're going to go and add another adjustment layer a photo filter so go back to and then go to photo filter and we're going to go down to the drop down menu and go to deep yellow we're going to go and put the density to around about 40% it really depends on your taste and the sort of photo you're working with so go and play around with these values and then go and hide that and then from here we're going to add a light border around it so we're going to go and add a new blank layer bottom right hand side and we're going to go to the rectangle marquee tool that can be found on the left hand side at the top click that and we're going to go and drag all the way over our image and that makes a lovely selection and all we're going to do is right click from here go to stroke and you want a width of around about 10 to 40 pixels it really depends on the size of your image so you can go and play around with this I'm going to keep with 10 pixels for this and the color I'm going with is E4C785 you can pause the video and check it out so we have this light sand color click OK and then you want to put the location to inside and then click OK again from here we're going to go up to filter blur and then Gaussian Blur so go find that and we want a radius of around about 50 pixels once we've done that click OK you can play around with this it varies for different pictures we just want it to lighten out so it's not too heavy on the picture click OK and we're going to go and set the blending option to this to screen once we've done that we can go bring down the opacity if it is too heavy like that so around about there will do for me and there we have it we have our old photo effect so it looks really effective and we have that grunge style coming through so go and have a lot of fun with this play with the values and that should be about it so please comment rate and subscribe go check out the website guys go check out Facebook and Google Plus loads of stuff there to play with and 
please go check out our new shirt designs. The link will be after this video, so stay tuned. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye for now. Now bring the blur method to zoom and the quality to good. Once we have done that, we can go bring the blur center. We can go move this bit and bring it to where we want it to focus on. So the character that we're focusing on in the image. So roughly do that and then go and click OK. So once we have this, we're going to go and take some of this blur away so we can um, uncover the sort of thing that, that we're focusing on. So we can go and add a layer mask to this. So bottom right hand side, click the little camera 